I'm back everyone and I got a this is new deal as well because I mean I'm starving so when you let me in and we can have some of this together. <laughs> Woo! Hello my beautiful people. I'm sorry that I haven't seen you in a while but after all these years I never, I never forgot, forgot you. And as you can see I have a decent reason for that. I have moved to Manchester in order to do my electronic music production course. So hopefully I can stop making music that sounds like utter shit. And as you can see, unfortunately, the spinning chair on wheels is gone. But this one can do this. Which I can argue is more fun. Oh yeah? But can you do this? But yeah, there was the move, and then the phone holder for my ring light broke, so now I've just got you leaned up against something. So I had a lot of stuff to get sorted, but now it's all done, and I can get back to doing this. So let me show you guys my setup. Now I'll give you guys a quick little tour of my room and my new setup. So, I'll see you come in, you got my shoes there, me bed. There, I've got my bass guitar and my acoustic guitar, very nicely set up there, look at that. I've uh, got my big speaker down there, my electric guitar, my just random stuff on that board. Uh, right, I got this plant and I let my sister name it because it was her birthday and she decided to call it Declan. And now I have to live with Declan every single day. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know why she, why Declan was the first name that came to her head and now, now I've got a double tree called Declan, so that's nice. Uh, my ring light, we've got a nice view, apart from the bins and the workroom, we've got a quite a nice view, see just a little little top of the uh, cathedral or whatever over there, nice little church view, it's quite nice, and then we've got my actual setup right now, which is way better than what I had before, I don't know if you saw it before, but it was literally just my like, monitor and stuff on top of some drawers, and the, obviously just my chair next to it all. But yeah, my PC's down there now. And uh, honestly, it's so much better, it's amazing. And then we've got my uh, shelves of random stuff, of all my decoration stuff. And I went to, I found this like oriental shop and I just had to get some of the weirdest stuff in there. <laughs> And uh, that Fanta Strawberry, I'm about to tell you why that's important, why that's gonna be a big thing. But uh, another thing that I wanna show you, which is pretty f sick, hang on, bah! Yeah, got nice neon lights going. Honestly, I should have really thought more in advance, because now when I'm filming stuff and I'm streaming, my, my cool decorations and lights and stuff are next to me here. So what you guys will see is just going to be pretty bland and I'm sorry about that. I might try and move them at some point because it, it does annoy me that you guys could get something cooler to look at behind me but you don't. But I'll probably get some more anyway because they're nice. But anyway, let's carry on with the video. And if you didn't care about any of that, it's important to me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys. And I have also started streaming on Twitch. My Twitch channel is called Roibsworth, because it was the first word that came into my head. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Tuesday and Sunday will be whatever game I'm like sweating out at the moment. Right now, that is Dead by Daylight. And Thursdays is gonna be just hanging out, talking to you guys, chatting, chatting random sh The link to that will be in the description, so please come hang out. Please, I, I need friends. <laughs> Plus, I'm not allowing myself to drink this strawberry Fanta until I get at least 10 followers on it. And I really want to try it, so please. <laughs> and do you know what else I really want? I want you to please give a lovingly gentle caress to that like button before you bash his brains into like this video. <laughs> and please subscribe as it does mean a whole lot to me. And sorry for the long intro, so let's actually get into the video. Do you get shy? When there's new people around you, are you are you really, really scared and crawled up into yourself? Or you see a pretty lady that you can't just go up and talk to because beta bitch! If you aren't aggressively enthusiastic when it comes to meeting new people, then guess what? You are beta bitch! Maybe even even an omega bitch. Omega is worse, right? 
Let me check. Let me check that. Yeah, it is worse. You Omega bitch. Even though it sounds so much cooler than Beta, and I was confused by it for a long time because the brain of the aliens in the film Edge of Tomorrow is called the Omega, so I thought that it was the best absolute leader, and I thought it was better than Alpha, which makes loads more sense. But I'm a beta male. There's, there's no hiding it. So today, I want to see what things I can do that will elevate my status in society and make me an alpha. So we're looking at a few Alpha M videos. You've probably seen him before, he's been in a quite a few memes. And it was weird, because when searching through these videos, a lot of the thumbnails seem to be the exact same thing. Like, seriously, just look at this. All I'm getting from this is to say nah to women and become Killian Murphy. And personally, I find it difficult to shapeshift. That might explain why I'm not an Alpha. The first video we will be looking at is make women... <laughs> Make women beg for your attention. Seven psychological mind games. Jesus Christ on a bicycle in Venice during the winter, my guy. You shouldn't be going around playing mind games on people. Especially just to get them into bed. So this is already off to a good start. And and that thumbnail, it, it's, it's just, oh no. <laughs> She's the one that should be begging for your attention, which is why I'm so confused. How could somebody as amazing as you be acting like such a needy little- What is going on? You are the most amazing guy I know. Any woman would be lucky to have you. All right, first of all, chill absolute the fuck out. You see what I meant when I said aggressively enthusiastic? Little disclaimer, if you're not interested in being more desired, gentlemen, this video is definitely not I for do. you. But if I you do. are ready to be chased like a sexy I, I, gazelle I through the African desired. tundra by a sexy lioness who is ready to pounce, I want to be pounced why don't you drop me one of those? Torn to shreds in the heat of passion. <laughs> Guess I have to like this video now. First tip I'd like to give you guys, it's a little game, but it definitely works, all right? Do not respond so quickly when somebody that you're interested actually texts you. Take all the urge to respond right away and push it down for about five minutes. Okay, I can get this one. I wouldn't describe it as a game, though. I'm also just trying not to look clingy or, like, overzealous. Overzealous? Over-enthusiastic? Too full on. <laughs> About five minutes, psychologically and mentally, she's thinking, wait a second, wait a second, does he not realize? Did he not see my text? She knows you saw her text, but this means in her head, she's like, yo, maybe he's too busy. Maybe he's with another woman. Maybe he's actually got a life. Yo, he didn't have to go there. He really just called out his entire audience for having no life, which is obviously true. Anybody who actually watches these videos clearly has no life. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. The third trick, and that is send her pictures of fun shit you're doing. Let me explain. If you are going and doing like cool shit, right? Take a picture and send it to the person that you're interested because the fear of missing out is a real thing. What Imagine you met someone, yeah, you get their Snapchat or whatever, and then a day or two later, they just randomly send you a picture of them doing mad shit. <laughs> you just be like, All right, I'm just saying that if I was Spider Man, I'd be even stickier. Oh, go on, message. Hang on, hang on. Wait. I'll never talk into that dude again. Bazinga. Ooh, mommy likey. Mommy milkers. Big, big mommy milkers. Big, big, huge milkers and huge, big milkies. I've also got another tip for you, gentlemen, and that is to look more handsome. Okay. My God. You think that if people could just look more handsome, that we wouldn't just do that? We didn't choose to be ugly. <laughs> so go ahead, please, Mr. Alpha. Tell me how I can just become more handsome. All right, now, it's not about style, it's not about your body, it's about your face. Real talk, gentlemen, five years ago, I started the company Tiege Hanley, and the reason- Oh, it's a f***ing head. Why didn't I see that coming? 
next way, gentlemen, to make her desperate for your attention is be successful at something, all right? Again, we can't just suddenly be successful. And these aren't mind games to get women to beg for you. That's just an ideal lifestyle, being handsome and successful, which is what people should be striving towards anyway. Next tip I'd like to give you is don't hit it on the first date. Again, this one is fair, but it's less of a mind game and just something that you should do if you're genuinely interested in someone. And look at this guy. Just look at him. I'm pretty sure he's married now, but you cannot tell me that he doesn't look exactly like the type of guy who would hit on the first date. I refuse to believe otherwise. You think you're special? Even though she says, I do really don't do this. Really? You normally don't do this? I don't believe you, sister. You do. But the fact is, if she is willing to hit it on the first date, she's also hit it with your boy Brad. Allegedly. Is that... Is that something that we should assume? I feel like this guy, intentionally or not, fuels incels. Like, he hypes up the guys watching, saying that they're absolutely amazing, they're the best person, they're perfect how they are. Which is great, he's spreading positivity, you know, I'm all for that. And I agree, you guys really are amazing. But, then he says that she should be begging to get with you, and stuff like that. It just seems iffy. And then there's a thing he just said, which implies that if you guys hook up on the first date, that she's automatically a slut or something. Which has got to work both ways. That means that you're a slut too. This gentleman is actually doing things a little different than every other guy I've gone out with. I want him. Why isn't he trying to hump my leg? <laughs> is that what women want? You want me to, to, to hump your leg? Because I don't think I'd be down for that. That sounds like the, one of the most awkward things that you could do. <laughs> and now we have a good idea on what to do in order to get a woman wanting us more and to beg for us. But I feel as though we should also learn how to be just an overall alpha. So let's watch this other video of how to stop being the nice guy. 10 alpha male transformation tips. And if he isn't talking about the Reddit type of nice guy, but if he isn't talking about them, then he's just talking about normal nice dudes. And why, why do you want people to stop being nice? If you're the nice guy, this probably means that you're a pushover, that you're not standing up for yourself and that you are going to be taken advantage of your entire life. You can be nice, and also stand up for yourself though. Like It's not impossible to do both. I'm going over 10 things you can do to stop being the nice guy. Oh dear, I, I didn't like that. <laughs> he seems like the dude who is just too confident, you know? He's too hyped up all the time. He just needs to chill out a bit. Go fishing or something. Then again, I wonder what this dude does to actually chill out. Or do you think he lives like American Psycho? Really obsessed with how he looks and everything. I could, I could see him being an American psycho, that makes sense. Number two. Take yourself shopping and treat yourself to a badass leather jacket. For me, it's a leather jacket. This is my most alpha feeling piece of clothing. Oh, I've already got a leather jacket, hang on. And I've got some, some sunglasses. I feel like I'd be more alpha the more I double up on these things. So let's get some more, more sunglasses on. And then we can put on the blue light glasses, just to, because if you're an alpha, being the nerdy alpha is not a bad thing either. Gotta get your hair nice and alpha. You gotta stand out from the crowd. If you're al, if you if you wanna be a true alpha. There we go. Now I'm starting to feel alpha. Now I'm starting to. Oh, I could do anything now. Alphas tend to rock around with unnecessary. Uh, Accessories to make it look more alpha. If I can't see anything, I actually play something. Alright, now, now I'm feeling alpha. We got someone to chew as well. Fucking hell, that's, that tastes bad. Oh no! And I can't see anything. <laughs> Where's it gone? Okay, let's just put it on the floor. <laughs> Alphas don't care. I'm not looking forward to taking all this stuff off. I'll lose all my alpha abilities. <laughs> so the next tip is to stop overanalyzing everything. The unfortunate realities of people that are the nice guy is that we do things in an attempt to help other people like us more, and so it's calculated. Everything we do is this like massive calculation in our brain. If we do X, this will get us Y. And to me, that sounds like a bit of an alpha thing to do. I mean, the last video that we literally just watched 
was literally about doing things in order to get something else out of it. Which was like doing stuff to get a woman to beg for you. So which is it, Mr. Alpha? How can it possibly be that being calculated is both beta and alpha? Well, I got you there, Anna. Act like I didn't have them and like I wasn't kind of weird in certain ways. Gentlemen, here's the deal. There's nothing wrong with who you are and you're absolutely amazing and perfect and beautiful. Embrace it, own it, and lean into the fact that you're a little weird and it's okay. So when I meet new people, I shall tell them about my belly button link collection. And they'll like me more for it? Number six is smell like an alpha. <laughs> oh no, is this, is this another ad? I'm talking about use a body wash to smell a little bit more masculine. Two days ago- Yes it is, I f***ing knew it. A thing you can do that I did that will help you not be the nice guy is start working out. How does working out make you not a nice guy? Like, I've been going to the gym for the last four years. Not that you can tell because lockdown absolutely f my progress and I've lost 95% of my muscle and strength. Plus the gym that I went to now has cancelled my membership for literally no reason. So pfft, I've, I'm tiny now. But it didn't stop me from being shy. On some levels it made me more shy because I was more conscious about how I was looking. But that's just me. I feel like everyone should at least be able to do body weight exercises. You know like push-ups, pull-ups, dips, stuff like that. But that's just my opinion. And my opinion obviously doesn't mean but anyway, I think we'll end the video there. I am starting to get really hot now. <laughs> I'll be bringing you guys videos as often as I can, but I'm going to be pretty busy over the next few months. So please bear with me because there will be more videos coming. No, not my like, fucking proper sunglasses. Oh no, it's not. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will make sure you get the cold side of the pillow tonight. And have a great day.